And you see that? She ended up going for some reason to my builds. Maybe she thought that was safe, or maybe she thought she was gonna get an easy kill or something, but I saw her, and I straight up killed her. I also ignored the teabagger. Alright, anyway. <laughs> What is up, Scar and I bringing you the Project Silver, Project Silver Water. I haven't really decided on the name because what I noticed, I kind of named challenges after apocalyptic events. I don't think I said that word right, but besides the point, just natural disasters pretty much. But besides the point, this is the 800 video special, the all gray challenge where, where you get uh, all your inventory with gray weapons and or gray... Uh, Recovery items. So yeah, that's the thing. Nothing but great items. This is the third one that I have in the in the challenge. Like I, I had two other wins, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think they were that entertaining. Like the first one, I barely saw people. Few kills here and there, and like the end, like the guy, he didn't really. Uh, he wasn't really good. He was going around the corner. He didn't know where I was. He had a SMG, and I killed him very, very easily. So you'll see it fast forward in the corner. You could slow it down, and you you would see that. You know, I did the the whole thing perfectly fine. No rules were broken. I did everything fair. It was just not entertaining to record. The second time, I don't have it recorded because Epic Games. You know, whenever there's uh, updating the game, you lose that on that replay, and uh, that sucks. Cause I I would have liked to record it just to at least show it off. Um, so there's that, but pretty much just like the first game, not many people were around, and the last person I didn't even kill. I just like went in the storm and I ate cabbages and outlived the other person, so very anticlimactic. But this game, I would say, is pretty entertaining for the most part. Like, for example, right here, there's a person in this building, and uh, you're gonna have to watch me fail trying to throw these grenades at the window. To eventually figure out that he's not even fucking there. He's like right there and I threw bandages at him. So, yeah, stuff like that. You know, I would say that's entertaining stuff, right? And uh, that's one of the things, right? It's like, um, that's how it showed on the replay. You didn't miss anything. That's how it uh, presented itself, like a slight pause. So here's like a different angle. Whenever you see different perspectives or different angles, it's just to see what they were doing at that time, usually. At least that's how I like to explain it. Um, but yeah, uh, you're gonna see st stuff like that. I'm still trying to really formulate how I'm gonna do the Fortnite series. If it's just gonna be my perspective, like a third person perspective, or like other people's perspective that's key to the match itself. You know, stuff like that. But I would say, um, when it comes to the ideal inventory, the perfect inventory space for the All Grey Challenge, in my opinion at least, is Grey Tack. Grey Assault Rifle, Grenades is a must, like get six of those. And then the last two is kind of optional what you want. Like, I'm at Slurpee Swamp for a reason, it's because there's other people that did this type of challenge but like they are free to use minis which in this challenge I consider them to be green so I can't get them because the it, it's a rarity thing they have to be a common item not an uncommon item and big pots which are considered blue so I'm at Slurpee Swamp and you know this challenge could be done in other places like you know as long as you find like a slurp truck or perhaps if you go to a place like Craggy Cliffs there's enough slurp tanks over there to get you full shield and uh, yeah, that's kind of what I recommend. There's actually another person right here. So uh, I do have a gasoline tank, that's another gray item. And I wanted to use it! I wanted to shoot and hit this bot. Yeah, and it actually damaged him. So here's a different angle on that, you know. Just to see what that bot was going up to. I really wanted to get the kill for this, but he had to go back inside, huh? But it's alright. There's actually a second person, and I kind of panicked a little, so I wanted to distance myself from them so I could have a better opportunity to kill the two. So, there is that. And, uh, yeah, there, there they go, fighting each other, so I'm just gonna 
take the advantage on killing them. And booyah, got them both. So yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, other gray items, since I don't, I can't use minis or big pots, the next best, the, the next best thing is actually, uh, the mushrooms, you know, or coconuts or whatever. Like, the blue mushrooms, they get up to 5 HP, um, and that's about it, but the light blue mushrooms are the good ones. They give you, uh, 10 uh, shield and or HP depending of how much you lack in the HP department if you're lacking uh, 10 HP it's got to prioritize that if you have like 97 health and and like no shield then it's gonna like take care of the three digits on that and then give you seven more shield and that's how it works but yeah speaking of which that's what I'm doing here I'm collecting 15 light blue mushrooms because the circle is allowing it at least I believe so so yeah, let me go over the rules pretty much on the all gray challenge. Obviously, like I mentioned before, you could only get gray weapons and or uh, gray recovery items, you know? Uh, you could briefly, as long as you drop the weapon and not use it, if it's a different rarity, if you accidentally grab it or something, you could immediately drop it, but you can't have it longer than like 30 seconds or something. I don't think that would be fair. <laughs> but yeah. I would say briefly because there's times I accidentally grab something that wasn't the the rarity. Just immediately drop it, everything should be fine. There's certain items, for example, like mushrooms that I'm collecting here that uh, are consumable then and there and not be placed in the inventory. By the way, this freaking mushroom is a bit too close to these fireflies and fireflies are considered blue and every time I try to grab it, it tries to make me grab the fireflies. So uh, yeah, I can't get that. Anyway, for the rest of the rules, um, for stuff like traps and or I'm not sure what the other word, word would be, you know, for example, like spikes would be a trap and then I'm not sure what bouncers are. Those aren't allowed as long as it's gray or whatever challenge you're doing of that rarity, you could only use it of that rarity alone. Um, some stuff that shouldn't be explained but like a, a, like a dumb person friend of mine kind of uh, brought it up. Obviously you could use bullets, you know, if you're like a green rarity or something, the all green challenge. Uh, bullets isn't a weapon or a recovery item, it's it's kind of like ammunition, you know, you have to, you have to, I don't know why I'm explaining this, you have to have bullets in order to shoot the gun, or else you're just gonna lack bullets and then you're just with the gun with no bullets. It's common sense, and when it comes to mats, obviously you can get as much mats as you want. I'm pretty sure if you ping them, they're considered gray anyway, but I'm just saying for future rarity sakes. And speaking of future rarity sakes, for example, if I'm at like blue or something like that, doing the all blue challenge, and uh, have a green weapon or something, and want to upgrade it to blue, that's not allowed. You can't upgrade to a, a different rarity. I'm only saying that for future projects and stuff like that because I feel like that's worth mentioning. Because hint, hint, nudge, nudge, this isn't gonna be the all, the only uh, rarity challenge that I'm gonna have. So. It's worth mentioning. Um, there's one more thing, and that is like you could use a car to kill people, but I don't think it's fair to use like a UFO or something because that could easily be spammed. I've seen that in like a few games where like they're at the end of the match. And by the way, I'm at a phone call. Maybe I'm calling Ancient Jonesy because, uh, you know, he, he talked to him in the last episode. There's continuity in the series, yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, but yeah at this point um, somebody had like joint requested me so uh, They're watching the match currently at at the live part so they see this all great challenge go down which is pretty cool um, But yeah, I was as I was saying sometimes I've been seen in some solo matches or just any matches in general People really taking advantage of the UFO and just spamming the shit out of it So I'm gonna have to ban the UFOs for now. It's like you can use cars like cars are doable to like Easily be dodged or be lasered at least that's what I had noticed lately Lately, every time I get in a car, I only get lasered, and I, I, I do zigzags and everything. Like, I'm not going in a straight line or something, but aimbot, god damn, it lasers the shit out of me to a point where it isn't fair, dude. 
But yeah, as it comes to like fishes and stuff like that, small fries aren't really recommended unless you can't find bandages. And look, there's cabbages right there. You can get up to 15 of those. But uh, yeah, small fries aren't really worth it unless you have no choice. Like if you have no more bandages and small fries are available, then sure. They both go to 75 anyway, but I don't know. Bandages are a bit more common, so that's kind of the reason why. Um, it's all the same for the consumable items, like, as long as you could just do it then and there and not put it in your inventory, like I said, like mushrooms, then that's perfectly fine. I don't know why I can't think of another example, because I know that's not the only one, but, uh, yeah, that's something that you could do. Um, but yeah, I'm here at the Woodworks, uh, aka Durburger, um, for the reason that, oh, and speaking of, there's a UFO also trying to cut the line to get themselves a Durburger of their own. Um, for the reason that I wanted to go get forged items for my last item, I wanted to get as many chili peppers as I can because chili peppers are really, really good. And this UFO is trying to stop me from doing it. The, the thing that I was explaining with them spamming it, that is happening here. Where I didn't even realize he sees me, but he does. And he's just non-stop spamming me with this fucking laser and I don't know why like what did I do to you dude like you have to wait in line if you want a Durburger okay and also like you could just walk in the store like me dude you don't have to go in the drive through and be a prick about it alright like I don't get it like I'm here waiting and, and he's just being so rude it's like oh hurry up and order well I can't if you're just straight up just there being an asshole dude you know just 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 be patient like i here first you know like like he's such a karen you know he's trying to throw like grenades because i see it in his hand he doesn't really do a good job about it but this is what i mean like with the perspectives of like uh key players because this is definitely one where he's just like oh there's the grenades by the way well, I guess he did throw them. I didn't really see the animation of them. That's the magic of the replays. Um, and by the way, the person that join requested is, is watching the unbelievable spam of this UFO happening. And I'm, I'm like panicking. But I did have like kind of a semi plan. You know, I was hoping to uh, kind of distract them to think that I'm in one place and then go in the other and then rush them and spray the shit out of them. I mean, it's only fair, but they're throwing grenades, because uh, the first one's absolutely missed, but uh, here's a better uh, throwing range on them. Y you know, the disrespect on grenades is unreal. I don't think I ever pointed out the, the last item, though. Like, I, I usually get 15 light blue mushrooms, and if I don't uh, get find enough chili peppers, then bandages would be my last spot, but I have to always get grenades. Um, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? You saw that person coming up from the car. As though she was outside Durburger almost. It's pretty close. What's going on? And look, there's a UFO still approaching. A bit too close. And you know, honestly, this UFO is super aggressive. Like, she already talked to the manager and complaining about it. Like, nobody likes a Karen, right Karen? Like, nobody likes that. And I'm like, there, because I, I put the rats. That, that's what I was intending. I was going to go up and spray, but he's, like, right up in my grill, dude. Like, for God's sake, uh, you're, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you cut in line just so you could order the fucking menu, dude. All right? So, yeah, there he is, pretty damn close. And, uh, you know that the other person hears this coming a mile away. Look how close he is. Oh, my God. Ah, okay, and yeah, so yeah, he definitely hears this going on, he goes up, and uh, he, he tries to see, <laughs> look at this absolute abuse, he throws two grenades, or three grenades actually, and that actually kills him, and that confused the shit out of me, because I thought, like, the UFO, like, was too close to shoot the laser or something, and accidentally killed himself, so yeah, that, that really confused me. I wasn't really sure what the hell happened. Up until I saw that person, then I'm all like, did he spray him or like, I don't know. Cause I didn't hear any gunfire, but either way he sees me and then he starts attacking me. 
I'm not even sure how much damage he's taken away, but at this point I'm like, ah oh, shit, here we go again. Like more people that they're fighting me. And I'm like, shit. And plus I didn't find any chili peppers, but I did find a great tag down there, which is good. Um, you best believe, like, you could look back and still see that I have nothing but gray items. Um, but yeah, I, I go over, I don't think he expected that, because, uh, I went across from him. He was, like, kind of expecting me to go under. But I ended up finishing him, no problem, or and or her. So yeah, that did quite a bit of damage, actually, because I was already whited, um at that point with the SMG abuse, that's another thing. I kind of don't use SMGs, I'd rather not, which is why Great Tech and like Great Assault Rifle is my go-to thing. But yeah, I'm there and I, I successfully survived both of them with the absolute abuse of the UFO, which is why he's banned, so... Um, I mean, it's not only him, so... I guess you guys could like blame other people. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You always see that guy in that match that is just up there in the UFO just spamming non-stop. So yeah, these are what the mushrooms are for. It's the, the best thing. Like light blue over, over normal blue or dark blue or whatever. Because normal blue, only 5 shield. But light blue mushrooms, both man. Both 10 HP. Which is really good. But yeah, at this point, my, my only last resort is going to Holly Hedges to find any kind of uh, forged items, aka chili peppers, because I have killed people that had like gold pumps and gold tags and like nothing but gold items with just a chili pepper and a gray tag. I cannot tell you how much more is recommended. Like the way I play, I don't really build to like. I really don't build and, and like box up like other people do like I, I really focus on maneuvering around people and like try to play tactically um, well I mean I say that and I have a tech shotgun but that's usually how I play like I really focus on the maneuvering and, and, and the strategizing of like how I'm gonna approach this and I did see people on like a third uh, bird's eye view, but there's a person right there that shot. I'm like, oh shit. And then I hear a person inside, and I'm like, oh shit. And I'm, I started panicking and I started building like a shit ton. And I'm like, alright, now nah, how am I gonna approach this? And uh, I see the person coming up, and I see this person drop down, and it got me surprised. I'm like, oh damn. So, uh, there's that going for us, and the replay is acting a bit like not laggy, but like frame ratey. I don't know, that's a better word for that, but I ended up finishing them both. I was really hoping for that, but here's a better angle on what happened, pretty much. I even kind of like see the person on the roof right here. <laughs> it's like, don't jump! And he ended up jumping. I mostly say that for myself, so he doesn't like absolutely kill me that way, but luckily, I, uh, I, I managed to kill them both. I can't tell if either of them were both bots or like, I know this one's for sure is a bot or if they were real people, but regardless, I killed them. Like, you know, I, I just killed two actual people from the UFO and the other person. And yeah, the gold assault rifle. I can't use that, but I could use coconuts. Haha, <laughs> yay. You know, gray items. <laughs> I had to dismiss some really good guns in the past because I had to do this challenge. Like, I, I felt the need to do this, and and now Epic Games give, give me nothing but good items. It's almost like they know exactly what I'm doing. I'm all like, okay, I have to find all the gray items, and then then and there, and uh, you saw that launch pad there. That's, a, that's part of the reason why I said, like, there's that rule where um, if you get something accidentally, you, you could just drop it then and there because stuff like launch pads and, like, you know, like I said, traps and or, like, usable uh, items like bouncers uh, kind of go to your inventory automatically. So that's why I say, like, you have enough time to just drop it then and there. But the final circle is about a form. It's kind of going in the outskirts of Holly Hedges. So I'm like trying to be sneaky because there's not that many people left actually. Um, but yeah, like as I was saying though, when it comes to the uh, traps and uh, and export items, um, yeah, once you accidentally get them, because you know you could just walk through and you act, uh, automatically collect it. Just drop it as soon as you can. Um, 
you know, when you use it by accident, then you're disqualified. But these are the other people. This is a huge build battle on the floor where uh, this person versus the second person. That's what I saw in a distance um, go down pretty much with this uh, lady right here. I don't know if this is the very beginning of the match or something because there's already builds there. Or they tried a third party because I get the feeling the great person been there for a while. But this match goes on for a while, like, as I, uh, wait for all this other stuff, pretty much. But she has a railgun, and she's, she really, I mean, I would say she's pretty good at using it, but at the same time, like, it's not bad how she's using it. She's really exposing the other person, uh, using the railgun. And I, I know you guys see that, that, that weird red laser that's going to the right of it. That's just like a replay glitch, like a, like a graphics glitch. Yeah, so, just excuse the Epic Games replay on, on that type of stuff. It's been acting weird and wonky lately. Like, I, I honestly don't like the new replay functionality nowadays. It was a lot easier, like, earlier in the year and in the past. But nowadays, I don't know. That's something else. I also don't like the fact that, um, that, uh, you know, once it updates, you just don't have access to any of your replays anymore. At least I think so. Maybe there's a different way of doing it, but as you see, this person's right here. She ducks down, and then, like, you see the railgun happen, but then, next thing you know, she actually gets sniped on the left. The reason for that is because as I was approaching by the bush, I noticed a person to my right. I didn't see the person, but this is the person right here. Kind of sees and takes the snipe. It's 105. It's a red lynx that's hiding in a bush. And uh, here's me trying to see throughout the, the bush. Because I can hear them. Like, I hear them sniping. And really, that's the only sniper shot that uh, she hit. So, that's kind of the reason why you're not going to see much of uh, her perspective. Because there's really no point. It's a lot of missed sniper shots. But that's the one that really mattered. Um, but yeah, they're still continuously fighting. They're really playing defensively, I would say. Like, every time they shoot, they recover themselves and, you know, I guess, and you saw her, like, float in the air. Obviously, that's just, like, a, another graphics glitch. But after they shoot, they, they immediately take cover like you're supposed to play. And, like, you know, she put the roof overhead. Like, it could've ended then and there if she wanted to, but, you know. Because at this point, the other lady's super low, because she got sniped and she didn't really have all that much time uh, uh, taking shield. So, you know both of them got incomplete shield at this point. But, um, yeah, I, I saw this perspective because I saw her move from a, one bush to another bush. And uh, trying to watch this go down, pretty much. Yeah. It, it, it could have ended a lot shorter, to be perfectly honest, had they not did everything so defensively. But that's fine, you know. I feel like they got the right weapons to just, just take them out whenever they can. Like, they, they used a lot of emphasis on the Chimera Gun. Like, that did a lot of damage there once she approached them, but, you know. As the storm is pushing, they barely have time. And they barely have HP at this point. They're getting really, really low. Um, but I have seen a lot of usage with the Chimera Gun. Like, I, that that gray lady used it. And I see a lot of other people use it too to, like, try to uh, burn a bunch of mats down, pretty much. Like, they try to use it to get past walls and ceilings and such. But, I, I mean, in my opinion, every time I do see it done, it's not its not the best use in the world. Like, usually when I try to break down uh, walls or something, and they, like, constantly spam the wall button, I, at that point, I just use, like, the SMG if I have one, or a pistol, or an assault rifle, or something. Because um, I don't know. I don't know if the Chimera weapon is the best thing to use for, like, wall breaking stuff. But, uh, in this case, at least she's prioritizing the railgun. But yeah, as this is happening, you know both of us are just watching at this point. Um, pretty much the reason I'm doing it, I'm waiting for the final circle because, um, the circle isn't small enough to be, like, where I have to go into this fight. Um, as you see the red lynx, she sees the storm getting smaller, she's got a little bit closer and waits in the bush. 
Um, I don't know. I, I never go in those small bushes anymore because I, I just feel like they'll spot me. Like, you'd think you would see a red lynx just sitting in a tiny bush, but oh well. Both of them are pretty distracted. Like, I could have crawled over to them as well, but uh, I really wanted to see where this circle takes us because usually when there's a small circle, uh, that's where shit gets down and, and also I didn't want to get third party because I'm, I'm always worried that like as soon as I like a walk across the field that everybody sees me and then they all start shooting at me and remember I, I don't have that much mushrooms at this point I had used them all because of the fucking UFO that keeps on spamming me but besides the point yeah but yeah, this is the perspective pretty much of both of them fighting back and forth. Like, I'm trying to do both of them. Like, at this point, the, the lady's trying to use the med kit as much as she could, but the gray lady isn't allowing her. Like, it would be nice if I knew the fucking names of the skins, but I really don't. And that's fine, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this was in the beginning since like before the the smaller circle was formed like as I was leaving Holly Hedges that's when the match pretty much started because when I got there uh, they had already built up pretty much like a lot and the Red Link's been there since the beginning of that match <laughs> pretty much and uh, yeah I was a bit worried because you know when they have snipers or real guns that uh, if they spot you you know they're, they're gonna just like constantly try to get that shot in since you know there's a whole long distance thing and I'm not that close to them but yeah we're reaching kind of like the the end of the circle where it gets smaller and smaller she's putting a bunch of ceilings goes over and tries to see her tries to spot her going up misses the shotgun shot I, I'm, I'm pretty sure at least yeah, she misses a couple shots. Alright, and like, she's playing super defensively yet again, using the Chimera gun. I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, she had run out of, uh, sniper bullets, I'm pretty sure. Because she, she used a whole bunch of them. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uses the Chimera weapon again. L like I said, at this point, I just shoot it with like an assault rifle. Like the steel hasn't solidified into one thing, so I don't know, man. That's just that's just what I recommend. As you can see, she like shot at directly at the ceiling, um, trying to go through, putting her own builds. And uh, next thing you know, like I'm surprised that the Red Lynx didn't step in. Maybe she's kind of doing the same thing I am, just a little bit more, uh, you know, trying to be a bit too sneaky, because, you know, she is in that tiny bush on the right, so. Well, there is that. There is that. But yeah, we're reaching kind of the end of, the, of this build battle. Who you guys think is going to win out of these two? You see that faraway shotgun shot. Using the railgun. Oh, you still have sniper bullets. Oh, oh, well, that's quite bizarre then. I guess in that case, uh, she only used it because, uh, you know, the guys are going pretty close. But you might wonder what happened to her. Well, you see, she got shot, and then, like, I don't know if she ran out of mats or something, but. Oh, she got shot by the railgun. But she actually just fell off and just straight up died. So, um, if you guys bet on that happening, then you're pretty much a wizard, I would say. Because that's some pretty good prediction skills. Uh, so yeah, the great lady won. Yay! I would say. So now there's three people left at this point. Like, for a while it was four people, and now it's the great lady, there's the red links, and then there's me. That's going a little bit closer to the circle. Uh, you'll see me in a second. Uh, as you saw, you might have saw like a wall solidified and materialized in the far right, and that's what she saw. And uh, yeah, this is what happened pretty much. I tried to go closer, I thought they were still fighting. Like at that time they were, but I didn't know she died then and there falling off. Like I thought for sure she like massacred them or something. But I put some ramps because there's no more bushes to hide except for the one that the Red Lynx is in, but... I tried to put that, and I had a feeling that they were going to see me. And I see the red links going to the right, go, uh, going across the screen to the left. 
But, uh, yeah, I was hoping that she would see her. But instead, she saw me. I don't know how she didn't see the red links. It's a fucking red cat, mate. Like, you're surrounded by grass. You would think you would see that first, but I guess not. You see me first, of course, and, and she uses non-stop railguns. She got more sniper bullets from uh, getting all the loot from the last person she had killed. But yeah, that, that's what happens. And uh, I'm trying to kind of do the same thing I did with the UFOs, distract where I might be. Like I put walls over here and I go to the other side. So when she shoots, she thinks I'm there, but I'm really not. And I have a better angle on her and like shoot or something. But yeah, this is the red lynx crawling across, not being noticed, despite the spider being red and fucking glowing. Then she sees me. Like, I don't understand. Like Grogu's camouflage. And yet you don't shoot him. Well, I'm not gonna go there, but yeah, Red Lynx is at the loot and switches both of these guns, and and now she has better weaponry. But <sighs> here we go, just getting nonstop. Hey, like, is this considered spam? I guess. Like, I don't blame her. I'd be doing the same thing. Perfectly honest, to use the rail gun and like break it down until like I have a good spot to just like shoot or approach or something. But yeah, I put that and I try to walk on the other side and I think she did hear something on the left uh, where the red lynx is, which is good. But yeah, I'm really hoping that the circle goes in my favor and she has no choice but to approach me because if I had to approach her, then we might have had a problem. But at this point, I'm just waiting for the most like exposed area that I could do to, to eventually do something, whether it's to shoot. Or in this case, throw grenades, because I wanted to break down her builds. Because if I knock down her height, I'm going to have a better advantage on killing her. Because uh, accidentally, well not accidentally, but I didn't know that a gasoline tank was there, but it was by her builds. And uh, I threw grenades and it ended up exploding, which is really good. And now you see the Red Lynx thinking about doing something. She's like, okay, I'm gonna go shoot her eventually, because she knows there's three people left, and she knows she's the only one doing the real offense, because she doesn't really see me, except for there, I guess. I guess the Red Lynx can see that. But she takes the opportunity, sprays a little bit, you know, and then builds like a shit ton. That was actually surprising how much she builds, despite her uh, heading in a lot of bushes. Um, so there's that. So she sees that going on. You know, I'm kind of surprised, like, ma'am, like, you didn't shoot her before and you started shooting at me, but now you see that the Red Lynx is doing that. Try to go for the rail gun, and then you see that she ended up going for some reason to my builds. Maybe she thought that was safe, or maybe she thought she was gonna get an easy kill or something, but I saw her, and I straight up killed her. I also ignored the teabagger. Alright, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, this is my perspective, me seeing her come over. It was a bit weird, like she kind of did it so calmly, like it, it kind of threw me off and, and I was hoping to hit her then and there and I thought that was going to be more of a fight and she was going to shoot back but it's almost like she didn't expect me to be there despite the grey lady shooting Oli at that spot for like a very long time but at this point it is one on one. Now, I, I try my best to knock down her builds because I cannot afford her to get high ground. At the same time, I'm not going to go high ground with her because, like I said, I don't really build. And when I say I don't really build, I mean, like, I just straight up don't build. Like, I, I only build solely to be, like, defensively. Whenever I'm being shot at, I try to um, put as much things to get between them pretty much I don't do it to get height or anything like that and then go from there no that's not how I play I play to, to do strategy um, and surprisingly despite me getting shot in the face twice um, I actually I actually felt like I was at a good advantage and might I also add that the person that joined requested is still with me at this point seeing this anticipating what's gonna go down so yeah I, yeah surprisingly I did feel like I was in a, at a decent advantage because this even though she has high ground and I'm down there like as long as I have my my crosshairs on her she can't afford to stick out so much 
Not only for the fact that she could fall, but the fact that she could get shot if she's not in the correct angle. Because it's not going to be very easy to, uh, you know, because there's going to be an exchange there. If she shoots at me, she's going to be exposed briefly and I can shoot at her. She can't shoot at me for very long, is the thing. But yeah, somehow we get to this house that was destroyed, probably by a gasoline tank of some kind, and she's on the roof. And I'm very surprised she didn't go inside the house, but it might be because the storm was moving. But uh, also, I don't know why she put the ceiling there, because she could have easily looked through the window and, and tried to do something from there, but she really didn't. I mean, that's kind of surprising. But um, I get out of the house, and <laughs> from my perspective, I'm like, what am I stuck on? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm stuck on the rails. And this is the end of it. And yeah, that's a replay graphic glitch, so here's other angles on what happened. But regardless, I have done it. I have done the All Grey Challenge. So let's see one more angle from this. And that's gonna be it. So White Tigers and Dragons to you. You've been scarred by the night. And I think I'm gonna show off that last uh, episode's outro with the Mandalorian because I like it so much. And hopefully you like this episode. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and like I said already, but I'll say it again. White Tigers and Dragons to you. You have been scarred by the night. Hammer!